Hey, what's up guys? I'm bringing you a Zeke's Delia deck guide today. And um, yeah, the concept of this deck is you play a bunch of landmarks, level up Zeke's and Talia, and use them as your finishers. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. First off, we're running 3 Hexplosive Minefield. Uh, this can get you board space issues, but uh, usually you have a card to destroy it eventually, or you can just override it if anything. And it's a pretty amazing card because... Um, of another card running in the deck, yeah, and you'll see later. Um, but yeah, it stops like Scions and like Lee Sins and Rex Eyes. It's really good. Uh, Chemist, uh, solid one drop all around, gives you a landmark. I've seen it as a three of in most Bandle City decks. So yeah. Alright, yeah. Um, Shapestone, you can proc this really easy. You pretty much always have this proc. Uh, auto three of in the list. Um, you could maybe cut one for something if you want, but yeah. Super good combat trick. And um, yeah, it's one mana. One mana combat trick's broken. Uh, Ancient Hourglass. Um, I saw a lot of lists not running this. I think it's really busted to keep your Ziggs or Talia alive. It, and um, yeah, it's right because like Talia especially, if they have like a vengeance, like... Yeah, keeping her alive is amazing, and Talia can copy the Hourglass, so you can copy a Ziggs. You can get two Ziggs, one Talia, you could like copy whatever you want, honestly. Um, you can get two of these, which I've never done, you probably will never do, but... Because um, you usually end the game sooner, or you die, so... Yeah, but you know, that could happen if you're super late game against like a really hard control deck. Um, Triple Preservarium. Uh, this deck can run out of gas pretty easily, so more gas, more better. Also, uh, Talia can copy this and get you an extra card, so super good. Uh, Rock Hopper. Um, yeah, this card's kind of busted, especially if you're playing it on the key turns. Like, of course, the Darkness example. Play it before they play Vagar. Um, play play it before Auction Server plays Auction. Play it before Draven Sion plays Draven. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Super good. Absolver, as a 3 of, I know it looks like a bit much and it can break, but like, your champions level super fast and it is a really good finisher. It, it's it's amazing. It's um, Talia with Overwhelm is like Lee Sin, but like worse. Yeah, it's a budget Lee Sin pretty much. All right, next. Uh, Endless, uh, super good combo. With a uh, Desert Naturalist, and it gives you a Fierce Home Blocker, and gives you a Landmark, gives you something to copy, something to destroy for Raid of Arcane and stuff. Yeah, super good. Raid of Arcane gives you Interaction, Demonic Deal 4, pretty nice against Nami decks. Um, pretty nice into like Auction, maybe. Uh, it's good into Vega. <laughs> really good into Vega. Good into Poppy. Yeah. Um, what do we got? Uh, Unleash Energy. This card is, is is busted in this deck. I'm actually thinking of making it a 3 of, like, cutting this and, like, doing this or something. Like, yeah. Uh, because of Hexplosive Minefield, uh, or Risen Altar as well, uh, you can get burst a Burst Speed Blocker with, like, Sarcophagus or Risen Altar. A Burst Speed Blocker. And you get to buff your unit, which is amazing. Or you get a burst speed stun. So if they open attack with Scion, usually you can't do anything about it. Like, yeah, this is the only card you can have that can burst speed stun your opponent. It's it's a three mana burst speed stun. There's no other burst speed stuns in the game. I think. I I, I mean yeah yeah. There's no other burst speed stun in the game. So um yeah, super good. Uh, what's next? We got Unraveled Earth. Um, something to Roiling Sands. So yeah, this is super good. It's, if you have like a hand with a bunch of Rock Hopper and, and uh, Unraveled Earth, especially against like Lee Sin, a deck that doesn't have a lot of units, or some a deck like Darkness, which like you don't want to like throw away like Catalyzer and stuff, or Vagar of course, it makes it super annoying for them to deal with like. It, it is not fun. Also, it gives you more gas. So, yeah. 
Uh, Zeke's finisher of the deck uh, levels him up quite easily. You can like hourglass and then like copy Ziggs and then <laughs> um, yeah the hourglass will proc and then Ziggs will do his two. The other hourglass will proc and then both the Ziggs will do two and then yeah you can proc whatever other landmarks after it's really dumb. Desert Naturalist. I originally have a 3 of but I had to cut it down because it it became clunky, but um, combo super well with endless devout. Um, pretty good with minefield as well. Just you know, destroy something, get a rock bear or a risen altar. Yeah, super good. Talia, finisher of the deck. For those who don't know, I leveled up Talia uh, after you summon five landmarks, which is easy because you only need four, and then Talia copies the fourth one. Um, yeah, her attack you do three to a blocker, you do two, two to a blocker three times. And um, it takes it up on the stack. So if you do the Ancient Hourglass combo uh, onto Talia, and you get three Talias, it, it takes up nine slots on the stack, which is really dumb. And um, yeah, your champ spell's not that good, but that's what you mainly use double Talia for. And uh, yeah, super good. Uh, Risen Altar. Um, this card is a finisher, pretty much. It's to help finish the game on turn 6 because you can, okay, let's say it's turn 5 and you're like okay, that was a bad example, let's say it's turn 6 and you're attacking on odds so you play this, you can finish the game on turn 7 because you have, let's say you have Talia on board you like, you use like Unleash Energy or something to destroy this and you get this big overwhelm spell shield unit and you have more mana for absolver as well um on turn seven that's off i've used that pretty often um absolver talia plus unleash energy on risen altar um and yeah that's usually enough to end the game if not you know there's i mean just proccing this is super easy you got desert naturalist red of arcane um yeah um that is part of the reason we also don't run Arsenal in this deck because this is just a better finisher than Arsenal. Like, Arsenal is too slow on t to come out on turn eight. Um, sometimes it's worth it. I had him as like a two of originally, cut him down to one of, then to zero. But I think he's more um, suited towards like Zeroth decks because they're more like control focused than this deck, right? Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, yep, let's get into the game. All right, we're getting uh, Tom Brom. Can I keep Alter here? Probably not. I'm down to keep Unraveled actually. Kind of weird, but yeah. And I draw another Unraveled. Okay, this is not good. One of Raffle is fine. Two is like usable. Huh. I'm gonna pass. Start with this. Good pass. Back. Ooh, he says, I don't care if Brom gets vulnerable, which is fair. I have double shape, so. Oh, if he has elixir, I cry. Oh, we, okay. Uh, yeah, we take those. Got greedy with that.
All right, looks like we're up against Zoe and Ami. Actual meta deck this time. Let's see. I mean, this gives us removal for Nami, but he'll probably have a way to protect it, but... Uh, I mean, we'll just keep it. Yeah, no Zoe, which is nice. Uh, yeah. Double trouble? Or line him up? That's kind of good for us. Mm. Play you. Okay, we'll start with Chemist. Because it gives us a landmark to try to remove Nami. Star chart into Nami most likely. Uh, we can use their attack token, sure. Do not mind that at all. Touch. All right. I guess he doesn't have it. The messenger makes sense. I'll just play the Ziggs. Talia. Hmm. Yikes. What if I just remove the Zoe here? Hmm. Let's just start with the Preservarium, because I don't want to tap under right. AC just is slow playing the Nami. Rock Hopper's great. If eventually, like if he doesn't play the Rami. Cause like yeah. This deck doesn't have like a lot of units. There's a sparkle fly. Kind of wanna threaten Zoe. But is it better to threaten Sparkle Fly? Like, I'll touch in Zoe. Might be wrong because Sparklefly actually does like do a lot, but he has too many Sparkleflies. I mean, he has the same amount of Zoes, but like, I don't know. I just don't want him generating infinite value from Zoe, you know. Mm. Could open. It's not a bad open. I don't think I would attack with Telia anyway. If it came down to it. Make it rain, sure. Oh uh, yeah, we can use a shape stone to push damage. Looks good. One for you, and one for you. Hmm. Can threaten the sparkle fly with bouncing bomb. Not really a great play, honestly. Hmm. Rock hopper. Yeah, I don't- I could Talia the Preservarium, but I don't think I need to. Alright, we can pass. I'm happy with the pass back. The thing is, like, he probably does have something to buff the Sparkle Fly, right? So, I don't think it's worth it. Yep, Ziggs is popping off. Ooh, rock hopper again. A 
looking for Nami or Shelly. There's a Shelly. I want to go for game soon-ish. So... I need a landmark. Let's start with you. It's fine. Yeah, buffs. I mean, the clone on the landmark doesn't matter. I just need the Tullia um, with the Overwhelm to drag this Burbo fish. So that would be a lot of damage. Do I need to pre-commit Absolver? What if I full attack? The thing is, Ziggs is... I mean, I have second Ziggs, whatever. That's illegal. I don't think he's expecting the Absolver damage, <laughs> for some reason. Uh, let's do this to play around Make It Rain. And we get this. Bigger. Oof. Ah, uh, yeah, he's gonna seal buff. Trying to think, cause Ziggs is gonna die, but I can play second Ziggs. Into naturalist. It's only two damage though. Hmm. I might need Naturalist to pop this next turn as well. Ah oh, shit. I will find you. I will save my people. My people are counting on me. There's my altar, which I never drew for a long time. That's good. Okay, I have to override you. Blow this up, stun this.
And now I pray, honestly. Uh, but he's putting buffs, so he shouldn't be able to, like, ulti K me, right? It's just to preserve his health. Unleash energy would be the best draw because I could play Resident Altar next turn. Uh, what is this? Ooh, he is gonna kill me. Yeah. Uh, no, he needs those to be one mana spells. Because he has to buff this and this. There's no way I die here, right? He just heals for a lot, but like... It's fine, question mark. This is a great draw. I wish I had Unleash Energy, but it's okay. This is great. Let's pop this Sparkle Fly. And deal two. What is he stealing? Is he gonna steal my deal for? And he's just gonna burn a mana gem? That sucks. Deal for did the rock bear? Oh, to Dia. This attacks in for sure. These two have to attack in. The Zig swing. If Zig swings, I probably have to hourglass him, but I have no choice. I have to full swing. I have to get rid of these elusives if I can. Close. Uh. Can our glass one of these to stop the healing? Our glass this. Uh, two, four. Close. But we are glass this. Yeah, that's smart. Oh, I was so close. Because if we are glass a rock bear. That's two damage. Plus Shape Stone Shit. Uh, I I actually had to think more. I should have I don't know. 
I don't know what I should have done. Oh my god. We're gonna play Chemist and pray for Unleash Energy. If we get Unleash Energy, I think I will win. Off of the Chemist play. Ah, it was worth a shot. Yeah, we were off by one damage no matter what. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. <sighs> Alright, Poppy Ziggs team, Poppy Timo, uh, Tristan, I mean. The Bando Gunner deck. <clears throat> sure. Uh huh. Okay, we're gonna play Rock Hopper now because next turn. Actually, we could play Preservarium. And then we can play Rock Hopper next turn. Because next turn he wants to play Mayor. I'm assuming. Yep. So Mayor turn. But he can't play Mayor now. Which is great. Pokey stick. Uh. I mean, uh, could save it. I don't see like the biggest reason to save it. Especially since he's not playing Mare anymore. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm taking like 5 damage here. Oh, this hand's godlike. And this devout's an amazing draw there. Swiftly. Sure. I mean, I'm just gonna sack the endless devout into this, and then probably play Talia. Or Rock Bear. Could just get the Rock Bear down already. I want. I want to copy this with Talia though. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. I think it's super strong. Because we get Rock Bear, plus we have Unleash Energy if we need a Burst Speed Blocker. Mm. Or we could use right to to pop that. I know I want to save it for pop your Tristana though. Don't really want to use right on Mare. Pass. Great, now I'm tempted to just do Hourglass into Talia. Not this turn though. This turn would be troll. I like this block. Mm. 
What is the player passing? Could hourglass now, but I don't get to clone it. Ah, tragic. Actually, even Sam has its uses. Yeah, that's fine. Oof. Perfect. Let's see if he sacks Mare, because I just want to hourglass this to Leo. Regardless. I could have used Unleash Energy to like throw in a really big attack, but it's okay. Yeah. Hourglass here, see if he lets it go. Perfect. You can get triple to Leo now. He's finally leveled as well. That sucks. Oh, uh, that just sucks. Actually, no. We could play Devout before that goes off, which is nice. I mean, no, we'd probably play Chemist, but yeah. Oh my four way tie, I've never seen this. No, that's so unlucky actually. What? It's crazy unlucky. Okay. I actually need this to be obliterated. So yeah. Actually, that's kind of too low. I could just play this and get that obliterated. Uh, I guess we could do block like so. Yeah, we'll get the devout obliterated. That is okay with me. Because this is pretty much lethal. <laughs> you got. Yeah, th this covers like the stack, I'm pretty sure. Or right, you can play one card. Oh. Funny. But this still goes through if Talia's transform, which is nice. Alright, we got a triple Talia game. <sighs> Let's go. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy. Check out my stream and link down below. I'll see you guys next time.